Stellan culture is a very new concept on the earth. Exactly what is a Stellan? A Stellan is essentially any person, any being, any life form that originates from off planet, from off world. A Stellan can have a physical body can have a human looking body. There are many races off planet that look completely human that we could not distinguish between a Stellan human and an Earth human. This is one of the ways in which advanced cultures can come to the Earth and interact with humanity without ever being noticed, working incognito. A Stellan could have humanoid appearance, they could have animal features, they could have incredible height, or they can be incredibly short, and they can have different bodily compositions. Instead of flesh, they could have different materials, as their bodily form. They can inhabit certain uh, other environments, be it water, be it air, be it space, be it other dimensions. Some st Stellans have multi-dimensional bodies that they can traverse the dimensions with their own body, with their own genetic structure. Uh, so there are many kinds of Stellans on or near the Earth, and these Stellans are not isolated people. These Stellans, when you meet a Stellan, when you hear about a genuine Stellan or a starship, they have an association to some other race. They have an association to another planet, another star system, another galaxy. The question always, always is, how many other races are there in the cosmos? And, you know, while humanity is still imagining the possibility of something being out there instead of bacteria, the truth is that there are many Stellan cultures, people, off this planet. And if you just take a sample of astrophysics presenting the idea that there are 200 billion galaxies other than the Milky Way is very easy to say that there's got to be 200 billion other races. If only one race inhabited each galaxy by the same token, we know that in each galaxy there are millions and millions of stars. And that means there are millions of other habitable planets. So what does that mean? Does that mean that 200 billion races is actually a small number, a small estimate of the number of Stellan cultures off this world. Now, we will never meet or understand billions of other cultures. On the earth, we have a hard time understanding each other. And married, married couples have a hard time understanding themselves. So to, to think on that large of a scale is very difficult and unnecessary. Probably visiting this planet are thousands of different races, having been here since the, the beginning. Like I said, Stellan cultures come in many shapes and sizes. Some Stellan cultures are very old. They're billions of years old. They're races of beings that have far transcended the physical body and that have far gone beyond this idea of living life, having an ego, wanting to be successful, raising a family. They've become 
spiritual, they've become divine races. They've become powerful races, they've become cosmic races. So, these kind of ancient, ancient races built this world. They create civilizations. They create a planet using advanced science and they populate it with a people, a race, or a mixture of races that they think best suits this environment. So Earth is uh, very much like this and it's very much in the in the scientific possibility that a race that is a hundred billion years old has the scientific know-how to create a planet which is a biological stratosphere a biological sphere, a planetarium and then to create using DNA a number of different species which only means they've mastered uh, genes, they've mastered DNA and they're able to replicate life. Now we know ourselves if you have a seed you plant the seed in the soil under the right conditions you grow a plant, you grow a tree. Fruit will grow on that tree if it's the right kind of seed. So a very advanced race only needs to have the right seeds, the right DNA and the right atmospheric conditions to create life. Now some people might think, well if these beings created humans, they created them as slaves. And this is usually the kind of idea found in somebody who is uneducated and who has been listening to a lot of false ideas. Because, just because an advanced civilization, billions of years old, creates a lesser evolved species, i.e. the human race, does not mean that they had the intention of creating a slave race, does not mean they had the intention of creating uh, an experiment to see what would happen. To create a civilization comes with a lot of care, attention, and forethought. So the Stellans would create other Stellans. They have evolved beyond themselves having children so they can create children. And anybody who has children, who has gone through the experience of raising a child or giving birth to a child, there is a lot of love and care and compassion towards those children with the intention of having those children excel to succeed, to learn and to grow and to become what they intend to become. So an advanced race of beings creates the human species as their children with the best intention, love and compassion. So we are really the result of Stellan influence. Now along the way other races have come here to assist our growth. Stellans helping the children of other Stellans. Now, in any culture, in any civilization, you're going to find you're going to find corrupt individuals, you're going to find egotistical individuals, you're going to find uh, simple-minded individuals. So we have these as well among us. We have Stellans that are lesser evolved, that are still looking for what they can get for themselves. They're still not, they're still not a divine race, they're still not a spiritual race. They have many ignorant aspects. And they come to this evolving civilization known as humanity and they tinker with humanity. They suggest to humanity, you were created as a slave race. And humanity, not knowing the truth about Stellan cultures, not having traveled to other galaxies, and having government leaders 
and uh, space agencies who have indoctrinated them in maleficent lies, repetitive lies and censorship on what's going on off planet, it doesn't take much to create a world that is largely confused, does not understand what another culture is, and believes that anything that comes from off Earth is a monster, is a three-headed monster with acid blood and eats babies and mutilates cattle. But culture never comes into the into the discussion. Intelligence never comes into the discussion. No one ever asks, how did a raving, lunatic, psychotic monster create an interstellar ship? Is that possible? Are they mutually exclusive? Any advanced culture has advanced science, has advanced technology, has advanced spirituality. It's a race of beings. It's a large race of beings. Imagine Earth has six, seven billion human beings. So if you take another race, a Stellan race, they're going to have millions and billions of their people too. And that means that out of all those millions and billions of Stellan people, you're going to find the majority of them intelligent, wise, spiritual, compassionate, um, and not monstrous, not hideous, and not wanting to eat children and to deceive humanity. So the disinformation has created the monster alien, the monster evil race. But the truth, in my view, and from my experience, is that Stellan cultures are very different. We have a very different way of looking at life. We have a very different way of thinking about spirituality, of thinking about uh, life in general, what is important in life. All of these cultural aspects are different. Different technology, different approach to technology, different approach to education different understanding of the laws of physics of multiple dimensions. Stellans usually come equipped with an understanding of multiple dimensions, uh, energy healing, regeneration, understanding of genetics, understanding the true meaning of disease, understanding things like vaccinations are not necessary as long as we understand the true situation of our health things of this nature. The culture is very different and some cultures that are a million years more advanced than the human species. It is very hard for a human being who is simple-minded and ignorant and indoctrinated in the mass of disinformation in the UFO field, in the UFO community, which is never discussed has never discussed Stellan culture, Stellan people. Has never discussed them. It's always discussed their technology. It's always discussed their evil intention. Always discussed their monstrosity. Always discussed um, the horrors they've caused and the murders and the cattle. And the movies have only reinforced all of this disinformation coming from the intelligence agencies and the national security agencies and the space agencies which is covering up a lot of the the photographic evidence and the government leadership that is being controlled by some of these ignorant dark Stellans who don't want humanity to realize that that aliens are people too they don't want you to realize that because if you as a human being realize that Stellans are people, then what would happen is you would want to meet the Stellans. And that would destroy the control structures on the earth. That would expose the dark, ignorant Stellans and, and their dark minions. And that would create 
a massive collapse of all the illusions and the house of cards would come falling down because when actual Stellan people with their advanced knowledge tell humanity in public this is how they created an illusion this is how they fooled you this is the truth about our culture this is what we've been doing we haven't been mutilating cattle rather we've been doing this and we've been dealing with these agencies who are trying to kill us and all we want to do is present ourselves to you the nature of the game would change so they will do everything to prevent that and what what my site is about and what I'm about is culture is Stellan culture Stellans are advanced people from off worlds from other dimensions from other time frames and time scales they have many shapes and sizes and this is something that people will take time to overcome because they don't know how to associate uh, a benevolent altruistic being if it doesn't look like what they want it to look like if it looks something that is considered ugly but today I feel hopeful because people they they sleep with their dogs they kiss their dogs they sleep with their cats they dress their cats and dogs and other animals and they're able to love and adore animals love and adore whales and dolphins and and goats all kinds of animals we have learned to appreciate for what they are now imagine if a has the face of a lion in the body of a human does that make that a monster race or does that make that some kind of lion like race the dark agencies and the military agencies will always try to put a wedge between you and Stellan cultures and they will say that's an evil monster and in the past humans and UFO believers have all believed that have all taken that side have said listen they are hideous they are monsters and they want to eat our children but more and more people today are not listening to the disinformation they're not willing to take things at face value and they're realizing that they've been played a fool so Stalin cultures are very different they not only look different uh, and if they look human they think different they understand reality differently they have different priorities in life they usually have less ego usually an advanced race has less ego or they have learned to control the ego in other words sometimes they allow the ego to play and sometimes most of the time they can contain the ego human beings are led by the ego they are ruled by their egos and advertising and propaganda and governments control the people through their ego and we see this in substance addiction in material addiction in the addiction to fame success money in the belief that uh, someone must accrue power and that beauty is above all all these things are egotistical structures and that's not to say that human beings have are not capable of overcoming that it's only to say that human beings have been deceived have been misled and if they were to be educated in other ideas they too could learn to control their ego could learn to protect themselves from some of this rampant um, manipulate manipulative structures these propaganda schemes 
these illusions that instead of chasing money and fame and beauty and power, instead of thinking that warfare is a solution, we could put aside the ego using Stellan ideas, put aside the ego and say, listen, war is a bad idea. We don't need any more guns. There's another way to do it. Success and fame will not fill you better to understand the true meaning of nature, the true meaning of reality. Things of this nature. And that's really, you know, that's really what I'm about, what my work has been about. But all of it is founded upon the belief through experience, through observation, through hundreds and hundreds of contacts that we are not alone. We have never been alone and we will never be alone in the universe. And it's just a matter of deciding to turn away from all the lies and to say, I want to look at it from this perspective. I want to understand Stellan culture. I want to understand them as a people and not as monsters. We've made too many monsters. We've made too many enemies. Let's try to make some new friends.